yes in today's class we'll be doing a moment connection so the last class we did welded connection which uh, gave us this result here so i want to continue um with a moment connection uh, beam beam to column flange connection so i'm going to select this beam this column and this column remember i told you you can as well select two two nodes at a point and you select two but let's go once one at a time so i'll check my load combination now select from all the combinations and apply say okay now go to smart smart connection select my code and yes then from here the last one the last the, the last um, tutorial video we did was uh, on directly welded beam column flange so now we're going to select a different template these are templates these are templates connection templates so from here you select the one that suits what you want to do so i will look for moment and plate beam column flange this is the template i need this one uh, um, actually represents what i i want to do so i will select it if you look at this preview it shows what it shows what the, the template is all about you see the yellow background is the plate you can see the boat inside and you can see my beam a section of it this one shows a, an elevation of it where you, you see column here and this is beam so here you have boat how is boat head and there's plate of course yeah so from here now you choose the type of of connection you want this one say flush is going to flush with the column this one say the, the plate should extend upward this one says extended downward extended boots uh, pre-qualified to me I, I prefer this extended boots and I'll click on ok see creating joints BF BCF joints have been created at node 11 and one connections have been assigned ok now if you look at our our outcome here you see is a uh, see 0.51 which passed but it has a yellow background so let's see if, uh, if there's any issue so I'll double click see once I double click it brings me to to this place this is the the connection yeah so um I, I, we can now modify from here see design code is this design uh, method um frame stability considered in analysis um okay i don't have anything to do there exists opposite connection if if the other side is uh, to be connected as well you can click on this check this box to replicate what is on this face to the other face well this other face does not have a uh, any connection there so i i don't need it i don't need it so you come to beams beam type yes beam section yes beam material is still i don't have anything to do here the moment end plate connector plate extension extended both ways that's this you see this extended here and extended downwards it didn't flush with the beam and even i chose the one for flush it should have flushed with this beam without extending both ways um, um, plate thickness i can can change this one to 8 mm yes then our um, plate material is good type uh, whole type on plate and stored is okay and then uh, top uh, flange width type 
fillet weld this wire is okay um, you can change it if you want to uh, fillet is very okay uh, top this one is okay weld size to top beam weld sides um i like using sis yeah mm -hmm. still fillet weld 6 mm Wedding electro to be web. Okay. You can still use six again. Yeah. Then bolt. Um for bolt uh, I'll use metric M M16. M16 will be nice. Mm, 16 is nice you see the, the transition ratio has reduced from 0 0.5 to 0 0.25 so just be playing with all these figures to get to get a, a very wonderful uh, uc ratio you'll be playing with all these figures yeah so gauge transfer center to center you know, center to center you can change let me change to 50 you see the you see what is changing the center to center of both uh, can, can reduce it vertical edge distance i like my anyway but i can still reduce my vertical edge distance if i use 35 yeah so the, the plate to kind of reduce more i think it's, it's taking good shape now distance from both row uh, both row number if you increase this number now it will be full everywhere so just leave it at one mm, yes oh, yeah. then for stiffener zone we have uh, i chose none you can as well choose the uh, top if i want to put stiffener at the top this is what it will give to me yes can put bottom but the ideal thing is to if you are putting uh, if you are putting a, a stiffener you should make both sides sorry both sides both sides yes then you can now uh, you can now modify using this stiffener length can use 120 okay that's the length so i need to even increase it to like 200 it's too much 160 170 yeah, something like that so i need to check check change the, the transverse with the weight you use 100 good it is it is, it is good now it has flushed with the the, the column uh -huh. corner clip weight so that one can be changed yeah so this is uh, my connection connection design but there is no really need for this uh, stiffener so i will go back and choose none yes i like my like my my connection like this so if we come to this place you see the the, the input the the or the data input here is uh, results everything passed so this tick here shows that everything passed all the things checked passed all the things checked passed that's why if we have a failure message you see x in red color instead of this uh, green tick you see x in red color so everything passed in this so we are good to go we can print this ctrl p print it yeah 
and take it to your report the uc ratio is 0 0.25 that's good fair enough you can you can save you can print whichever way you want to do send to printer or you pdf that's a very simple thing you don't need to stress yourself in the connection designs with um, um star pro it does everything so you can as well optimize your design if you see this optimizer has taken us to the the initial result it gave to us for me i don't like that initial result but that's just that that's all for the for this uh, moment connection so in our next class i'm going to show you how to do um share connection that one is going to be connected to the web i will show you how to do that in our next connection so stay tuned subscribe to my channel there are a lot of things to show you i'm going to show you a lot of things so what you do for me is just hit the subscription button and the notification button so that whenever i post a new content you'll be notified thank you thank you and meet you next time